Okay, so you come to this computer. This is the one I want you to use. It is the one that is actually on the laser itself. Um, you are going to take and go to Lightburn. You double click on there and it will start up. It'll give you this screen. Um, once you get this screen, you can take your memory stick and you can plug it in. Now remember when you plug in a memory stick, there is a tiny little line on the bottom and there's no line on the top. You always know that the no line is the top side. Okay, plug that in. Now I get to here, it's gonna open up my little, for the USB, I'm gonna just close all these down and then I'm back to here. I wanna bring in my picture first. So I'm gonna go up to here to import, which is this little thing. It says import when I hover over it. You can also go to file and click that and then go down to import. But in this case, I'm just gonna use this one. So I click on it, I go to my USB. I'm gonna to go to what I called it. I called it no smoking, there it is. So I click on that, I'm gonna hit open, and there it is. Now I wanna use this image and I want to laser it. So I'm going to right click, I need to trace it first. So I right click on my mouse and then I go up to trace image, select it. Now you can see there's a little purple outline. The purple outline tells me uh, how much of it it is, it is giving me in terms of the cut. You can move this little slide and you can move this slide to adjust what that is. But generally speaking, 99% of the time you're gonna find out it's just gonna work already. It's gonna work as it is. So I hit okay. Now I take a look at this and I'm like, yeah, I really like that. Now, I don't really want this line around the outside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on it and I'm going to ungroup. And now I'm gonna click this outside line and I'm gonna delete it. Outside line, delete. So when I ungrouped, it made every one of the cuts into separate things, and then I can select different parts of it. So I could select the smoke if I wanted, and I could delete the smoke. But in that case, I just deleted this outside thing. If you have a picture that has some weird um, uh, words on it or something, don't worry, you can take those words out later. You can fix up the file um, and get exactly what you want. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab this whole thing again. I'm gonna right click and then I'm gonna group it again. So now, the reason, now I grouped it, it's actually one thing. So if I click on it, and I just wanna like move it around, it moves as one thing. If I had it ungrouped, it would only move that one part. Okay, now about my size. This is the piece of plastic that I wanna use. So I'm gonna check the size. The size right here is, and I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use centimeters just for kicks. So it's 10 centimeters, which is 100 millimeters. This direction is 135 millimeters or 13.5 centimeters. So the only, because this is a circle, the only direction that I care about is the 10 because there's, I, there's no way I can make the whole thing 13. It'll hang off the top. So I'm gonna make it 10 or 100 millimeters. I go to the top right up in here. It says millimeters. If I click on it, it turns everything to inches. I'm gonna keep it in millimeters. Uh, I'm gonna go over here and it actually, oh, look at that, it already says 100. So it's totally set, it's gonna be exact. Um, now over here, you see that it's got a little dot in the middle. This is my origin, this is where the laser is gonna start. So if I press this up here, then all of a sudden the laser is gonna start on this top left. In this case, I wanna start in the middle. So I just need to find the middle of my project and set it in the laser. I also need to center this. So I'm gonna go up to this little spot right here after I've selected this, click on it, it says move to center of page. Boom, it centers this. If I wanted to write something on the bottom, then I can go over, click on nothing, I can go over here to the letters and I can click on the screen and I can write no smoking. Okay, then I can click my little arrow again right there. Now I can select the no smoking go back up to my little little arrow, I can move to the center of page. Now it moves it to the dead center. If I use my arrows on my keyboard, I can actually move this down and get it precisely where I want. Now in this case, if I like this, I select everything. Remember, to bring it all together, I'm gonna right click and then I'm gonna group. Oh, sorry. And when I group it, now it's all one. Now, this is different though, because this was gonna be 10 millimeters, 10 centimeters. So now when I take a look at this up top, 
it says that the height is 160. So what I'm gonna do for the, the height, I'm gonna change that. Uh, actually the width, I'm gonna make the width 100. Enter, and now awesome. The length, the height is 110, that doesn't matter. This is gonna be perfect because I'm gonna turn it this way so it's a little bit longer on the other direction. Okay, now I go down to here. I make sure that my job origin is in the center. I'm gonna go up here to my fill in my line. This is already set up. If you want to do something special, talk to Mr. Spears and he can, he can set it up for you. When you're done, you're gonna send it to the laser. So I'm gonna go down here to send. Once I hit send, it's gonna send it over to the laser, but my mouse is connected, so I need to disconnect the mouse and I need to reconnect my actual laser. And then I need to hit send. Once you hit send, and send. Once you hit send, it's gonna ask you, um, enter a name for the image. Um, I don't care, I'll just call it light burn. I'll say, okay. Of course, there's probably something else called light burn. That's totally fine, because I use that all the time. Now it is sent over to the laser. So I'm gonna look up on the laser and I'm gonna hit file, okay? When I hit file, all my files come up. You can see the top one is called Lightburn. I'm gonna hit enter. Now I go here and you see the no smoking. You see it just comes up on the screen. That means that it's ready to go. But now I have some other work to do right here. And that is to actually figure out the center of my piece of plastic or wood or whatever. First thing you're gonna do, take a piece of tape, stick it in the middle. You're then going to take a ruler. You're gonna put your ruler, in this case, this is a square. So I'm gonna go corner to corner and I take my marker or whatever and I'm gonna draw a tiny little line, okay, going one direction. Then I go this way, corner to corner. Okay, and then I'll draw a tiny little line. You'll notice that I didn't draw over the entire thing. If it's wood, I don't wanna go and have to uh, sand all that off after, erase it all off. If it's plastic, I also don't wanna have like indelible marker or anything written on this thing. This is the exact center. Now, if you have any plastic or anything on your project, you're gonna to wanna to take that off and make sure the thing is absolutely clean. In this case, I do, I have, I have plastic on this too that I'm gonna to wanna to take off. Okay, but don't take off that center thing yet because you're gonna need that to set your laser. Now I open up my laser.